Okay, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to do a video on this uh, sideshow uh, set of figures from not even sure when. It's got to be the early 2000s, I guess. I uh, got this on eBay about, I'd have to check, but it was, it was a good while back. It was, what were we in now? It's probably around about June I got this. <laughs> I've only just got around to taking it out of the packaging. Went through a bit of a mad spending frenzy and uh, got these for a really good price. I think I paid about £36 or something for this set, which can go from anywhere between £80 upwards. And this set of figures, as you can see here, are from an Outer Limits uh, episode called Keeper of the Purple Twilight, which I will put a link for down below. But as you can see, the box and the packaging, you know, it's just something they don't do anymore. I'll put the link down below for the uh, episode so you can check it out. It's about 50 minutes long and uh, yeah, it's a good story. Interesting concept where the aliens... Uh, I mean, I could read all this out. It basically tells you the whole episode. If you want to freeze that and read it. Um, it carries on there. But, you know, in their summary, what they do is they come, this alien race comes down, they help this uh, scientist who's trying to solve an equation to... Um, get a power supply power source better than atomic um, energy and um, in return the alien wants to understand uh, human emotions so he, he gives the the scientist the the answer to the equation in exchange for his emotions and the scientist says yeah I don't need those you can have my emotions and there uh, yeah basically the aliens want to understand humans and they basically give the scientists the the tools to destroy the the planet disintegration ray device which this gun thing is here it can basically disrupt the magnetic field which holds all the atoms together and basically disintegrate whatever it's aimed at and yeah it's really interesting okay. if you read down here about the actors and you know he obviously used big tall fellas and I say it's all the whole history of it's here and Part of me does, doesn't even really want to take these out of the, the box. I just wanted to share them with people. Uh, these were the inspiration. I think, was it Rick Baker? It says at the bottom there. Acknowledgement by Rick Baker as his inspiration for the alien scene in the cantina sequence of Star Wars 77. And, you know, I've only seen this in black and white. It's never been colourised, but... You can see they wear these velvet suits and the the butt head or the butt face aliens. Um, you know, this was the original kind of horror. It came from outer space type thing and War of the Worlds. All those classic sci-fi horror films drive-in movies I thought it could be in October as good as time as any to show these off nice image on the back there and nobody actually knows what the 
Keeper of the Purple Twilight means. It was taken from a book, original, and then turned into a uh, Outer Limits episode. A lot of people liked either or both the Outer Limits and Twilight Zone. Um, I've, to be honest, I haven't seen that many episodes, but it's a couple of box sets that I will be looking to pick up in the future. But yeah, you can watch most of this stuff on their daily motion. And uh, it's all free. The only, the only fee is maybe a few cookies or giving up some of your personal information. But yeah, I just turn all that shit off and just watch the stuff for free. So yeah, I don't think I'll bother get these out of the box. I mean, you can see them in the box. Uh, I do believe one of them's got a bit of damage. I think it's this one here, Icar himself. But you can't see it. And he's, they're so nice, nicely packaged. I mean, I did get these on a whim. I thought I'll, I'll get them to, uh, to have uh, an alien from an action man but literally I haven't got the space to do dioramas and pose them up at the moment so I think this is where they'll stay um, but yeah it really is a shame Sideshow doesn't sort of do this sort of stuff anymore the way they package it even um, Sideshow Indian stuff the way the box on the Raiders of the Lost Ark, the way it folds out and stuff, really nicely presented. And, you know, with the prices of figures, especially Sideshow now, I don't think you're getting the sort of value for money that we once did. Even though these are very dated figures, very basic bodies. Um yeah the attention to detail you know you've got the extra sculpting in the feet the hands basically a, a plain uh, buck body I think it's called underneath but yeah the head sculpts and these are great and this is the soldier and uh, <laughs> you can see who's got the brains in this operation this is the scientist and this is the the foot soldier basically and there's three of these in the episode or yeah the episode is the um disintegrator gun which is only seen for a little short period of near the end and then it's destroyed sorry spoilers but yeah cool little set thought be interesting to share and uh is anybody else out there, a fan of the Outer Limits. We are controlling transmission. And there's some of the, the cast, the credits. I mean, it's all this sort of attention to detail here. When it was first broadcast, written by, based on a teleplay by Stephen Lord. Um, and you see, you've got the cast there. Robert Webber as Icar in human form. And, you know, the story of this is really good. The idea is good. Didn't need major special effects or CGI back then. It was just a quick transition from this. And then it just done a quick wipe and then his human form. And the ideas there just sadly lacking these days and being overcompensated by crappy CGI that nobody seems to enjoy uh, so yeah, and there's my alien. I fixed his head back on. So yeah, I might do a video on that soon. I've got the 40th um, Ultimate Edition alien. So that one's from 2008. So yeah, I might do a little comparison. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, got loads of stuff, just motivation to, to film it. But yeah, this one's definitely a cool set. Glad to have. 
whether I'll be able to display it. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.